Let's see. In some dungeons, you can find holy relics that will reduce the effects of abyssal corruption on your party. Thanks, Tooltip. Alright, we are back with Wrath of the Righteous. There ain't much to say. We're still in the... Uh, still in Baphomet's uh, labyrinth. Or maze, whatever you call it. The Ineluctable Prison. Here we go. I thought I already did this. I think I did it. Okay. Well, whatever. Right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already went through this, but whatever. There's the insane prisoner. Alright. See what's through this door. How? I'm glad it was useful to you. Come on. Who are you? You're no guard and no servant of Baphomet. I can't see you, but I can smell this is so. And I can smell that you're strong, very strong. Hmm. Okay. Whoever you are, I thank you for my freedom. Please accept my humble gift. Please actually be something beneficial. Oh, come on. Ashen Lady. D6 on D6 plus t 5 on holy damage. What what they do? Ashen Curse. The curse inflicted by the ungrateful prisoner of the Ivory Labyrinth. Not only does it weaken its bearer, it allows the caster to sense the cursed victim from any distance. The bearer gets a minus four penalty on all perception checks and on all saving throws. Unbelievable. This war must end. Just once, I don't want to be. I'd rather not be punished for doing the right thing and yes. helping people. Yes. But then again, I didn't know I was helping anybody yes. there. Was a that was a bad turn. Hmm? You're here. I can smell you. None shall escape. 
Uh, what do they do now? Hello, Atrocious. Study target. It's like the biggest example of being ungrateful. Never fun. <sighs> I'm not sure what. Yeah, I fell. I'm not really sure what they're going for. No, no. What they're going for? They just knocked me down and then left. Who the heck is the Ashen Lady? Not a lot of this stuff. Rules are made to be broken. Okay. Heal up. You fell again. Yes. I have noticed. Don't really have anything to do with the suicide bombing dretches. Just the last of these. Should be fine for now. Move out. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just junk. Let's see. Take this off. I finished here. Is there more? Nothing. Moving to the next zone. I finished here. Is there more? Nothing. I'm grown the Basu, Klaukis. Uh huh, let me loot this. I'm glad I was useful to you. Ah, oh, see, it's probably a bad idea to let these guys out. I'm losing my temper. <sighs> They're considered allies because they don't want my gold dragon breath to just outright kill them. Alright. Open. No one's and while you're opening... Breathe. Alright. There. Nothing to it. And it wasn't worth anything. At least I didn't have any real trouble with it. Let's see. Go down this door. down. I'm not falling now. Let's see. 
though, see the... Alright, everybody's starting to get fatigued a little. Oh, sweet! Light shield, heavy shield, and a buckler. What do we got? Plus three, plus two, and a light shield is called flesh terror. Plus five, spike light shield. Grants a plus two inside bonus against living enemies. Well, if I ever had a shield bash build, that would have been useful. Now oh, those little symbol things again. I sense something. All right, what do we got? Don't think I should be here. The darkness that rolls beneath looks impenetrable and somehow carnivorous. Maybe even the darkness itself is a dangerous monster in this insane abyssal realm. Alright, we're gonna save. Let's see here. This is probably a bad idea to travel here, but what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. Hmm. Rely on me. I finished here. Is there more? Doesn't look like there's much. Behind the rubble, you find rough drawings scratched on the wall. Four figures, intertwined in either a dance or a battle, under the gaze of three bestial eyes. The rest of the picture is obscured by the remaining rubble. Clear the rubble. After all, what's the worst that could happen? The drawing continues. One of the figures, a horned one, is bringing down the other five and turning into some half-effaced symbol that's no longer legible. Move out. I'm sure it's fine. A pile of Nehendrian crystals, it looks like. Oh, I saw that noise. Breathe. Uh oh. This is probably not going to end well. Uh, one down. What is this? Father of Worms. Hendrian purple worm down, another down. All right, we'll take out the father of the worms. Ember, get up. And when you do cast, how far away? Oh, I'm down. Darren, save us. Burst of light. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh, we're all inside it. Or those who are still conscious are inside it. Alright, so that's game. Took out the L the other purple worms easy enough. It's just the father of the purple worms to deal with. Pretty sure I can beat it. Just need to properly buff and heal. When I say properly buff and heal, I mean I probably should go take a long rest. Oh, the waiting's never fun. Let me see. What do I have to work with? I I have some protection spells. Yeah, I should be able to do this. Right, let's see, first protection from acid. Then protection from Sonic. Sonic. Acid. Poison, just in case. Hmm? Ah, right. I don't have a delay poison left. Protection from Chaos. Hmm. Massive luck and resolve. What else we got? Later. A heroic invocation. Why not? Use fiery body. Alright. I welcome your company. Bless. Please allow me. Alright. Cast up when I get there. And in the meantime, I'm losing my temper. No reason to right. pause. Use divine weapon bond. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. All right, I think I'm ready. This time I'll get him. I finished here. Is there more? Cast sense vitals. Oh, skip the pleasantries. And anything else? Right. I guess that's it. Together, we stand. Do you have anything that only lasts for rounds? No? Alright, let's go.
Where's that spell? Here it is. Six fly kites. K fangs. Actually, no. That's, that spell's working a little different than I thought it would. Hmm. Soul Reaver. Rematch. All right. Um, cast might evil on that. And breathe. Who's eating? All right, so Darren's out. Ember cast a I guess just good old fashioned firestorm. Okay. I'm pretty sure I cannot fight the father of ones. I can do damage, but I cannot get the kill. time with this. Let's get out of here. Let's see. All 
right, nothing to do over on this side of the map. Not here. There's a door here. They'll beg me to no, it's the suicidal dretches again. Okay, that was that. Unpleasant, but we live to fight another day. I finished here. Is there more? Loot the cells. Tick swarm. They're fighting them. Quickly. I shall not be swayed from my path. I finished here. Is there more? What's in here? The corpse looks as if it exploded from the inside. All the entrails have been eaten away, and the flesh is covered with only with oily mucus. Huh. Gross. It's same prisoner. Maybe he's friendly. I finished here. Is there more? He scattered his damned riddles everywhere. Bait for thieves like us. We found one right after we got out of the rat tunnel. We were fools. Move out. Hmm. Cell Sword Ranger. I will resist. That is the dumbest suicidal crap I've ever seen. Alright, the Cell Sword Rangers decided to go out the way they came in. Real pointless. There was no reason for them to fight me. Who knew there was a chest I forgot way back here? I'll go back for it. Alright, let's see. Mic's still working. It's just some junk. Still, better to have it than not. Alright. Uh, 
some boulders. This crap again. So the last time I dealt with boulders, I found the Rune Lord of Wrath. Should I go back into his place and try to long rest? Yeah, here he is. Alright, here's what I'll do. I'll save. We'll see what lies ahead, and if it looks like, without a shadow of a doubt, I cannot handle it, I, welcome your company. I will go back and long rest. No mass. Let me go through here. What is this? Kill the wretched vermin. What the hell? Crusader. One could have mistaken this wretched mortal for a stuffed effigy, if not for the eyes alive and full of pain. Savendak. So Vendak is focused on the prisoners, groaning in unbearable pain as they are eaten alive by a swarm of horrible creatures. The voracious monsters look bloated, yet they keep growing in size. My babies, the brood of our lord himself, you grow up so fast. So Vendak looks over at you. Look here, look what tasty meal your mommy has prepared for you. The vile scum of Golarion that has insulted our master. Maybe as a reward for his death, the great Baphomet will even give your mommy his loyal bitch Arilu, so I can take her place as the Archpriestess, and then my sweet children will ascend and rule. She breaks into boisterous laughter. As you can see, the fate has been kind to me. And I've been, I've had these little darlings. They're all healthy and very hungry. And I'm glad you've arrived just in time for their meal. The sight of healthy and responsible parenthood is positively charming. Back when I used to live in the abyss, I didn't know anything about the connection between children and their parents. I still don't understand it completely. But I've seen how important it is to mortals. Don't demons have anything of their own making? Only hideous parodies of all the good and all the bad that there is in a mortal's life? Let's see. Uh, where are you holding the hand of the inheritor? Oh, that little bird got to sit in the sturdiest cage. But you still haven't found it, have you? And you never will. But I'll gladly show you to your prison. Please wait just a little longer, good angel. We're coming to help you very, very soon. I'm looking for a blade named Dawn Flower's Kiss. She giggles slightly. Don't even think about it. All of Aponavixius' treasures now belong to me as the sole inheritor of this prison and its new mistress, even that useless scrap of metal. I don't want to fight you. No, no, this won't do. My babies like it when the food resists. The horrid creatures interrupt their bloody feast and focus all their attention on you. Their soft flesh is bound in moist, shiny carapaces, and their fat bodies rest on articulate legs. The eyeless heads have fearsome-looking jaws, the snapping of which drowns out Savindak's mad cackling. Tick swarms. Tick swarm, tick swarm, tick swarm. Ooh. 
Well. This ain't looking good for our heroes. Why ticks? I I have no idea. But here's hoping I can just burn them down. Alright, between Firestorm and a Dragon Breath, they're all pretty much gone. So, there, there's that dealt with. Ah, uh, let's see. She's casting heal, like, multiple times. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to counter that. Oh, wait. Uh, Sila, you smite evil. Alright, she's dead. And there's one tick swarm left. Gross. Just, just burn it. Okay. That was, that was supposed to be a boss fight, I think. Sour Guts Broth. Okay, you know, I'm a connoisseur. I'll, I'll eat anything. Just about. Copy recipe. How bad can it be? All right, uh, go over to the body. You got the, she's got a glaive, helmet, warden's key. All right, what do we have here? Corporate resistance, natural armor, plus four. Warden circlet. A lavishly decorated tiara that Baphomet used to crown the first warden of the ineluctable prison. Rivers of blood have been spilled for the right to own this great treasure. This headband of mental perfection plus four grants its wearer the ability to summon two Labyrinth Demodan destroyers to fight on their side for two minutes twice per day. Okay. Plus four belt, plus four methyl. Alright. Sure. What do we got here? Tongi. Called the Indomitable Punisher. Nice. Sure. Alright. That scimitar. Dawnflower's Kiss. Let's see. Is it worth me holding on to? Nope. It's just a plus five weapon. What else we got? The Diary of Owlmaster of Cheliax. Oh, here it is. Right. How many angels can dance in a single ray of the sun? A spirit asked me this question. This spirit occasionally appears in my sleep as a blue cow that holds a full moon in its horns. When I woke from my dreams, I sent word throughout Galarian. Wait till it gets purified. All right, sure. Sent word throughout Galarian, but none of my colleagues could answer the question. They are so narrow-minded. It's a well-known fact. Oh, a quick note so I don't forget. Here is the recipe and list of ingredients needed for an improved healing potion. This is followed by complicated formulas and peculiar research notes. Anyway, back to what actually matters. A large number of angels can dance in a single ray of the sun, and this number should be multiplied by three during Farast. I found the answer after many sleepless nights and a three-day cleansing fast. I gave the answer to the blue cow spirit, and it was clearly pleased, for it did not bother me for the rest of the night. Um, okay. Well, 
I got what I was after. Legends of the Dark Knights by Mah Mah Matthias Erd. The once beautifully bound book is now in a pitiful state. The spine is torn, the cover is burnt, and the pages have been either soiled or ripped out. One of the legends described on the remaining pages is covered in scribbles and crossings out. It is said that in times past there lived a blind mortal woman, robbed of daylight from birth, without ever, being, ever having seen the true world around her. She lost her mind at a young age, and she felt and felt a strange passion for things others avoided, like the plague. Above all other pleasures and joys of this world, she cherished death, for the rest of the line is scratched out, and the handwritten words below read, The silly woman had never met a succubus. Even though the fate was cruel to her, the woman dubbed the Ashen Lady, yeah. was a kind and generous soul, especially towards those who were to her liking. To them, she would give the most precious gift she could imagine, death. Oh, God. The most artful and beautiful of the ends she granted was the Ashen Death. The page is torn, but you can still make out the writing under the bedraggled edge, Amateur. Many a mortal was sent to a better place by the Ashen Lady, for she was incredibly skilled and deft at her craft. Seemingly weak and helpless, she could bring out the pity and compassion in those dear to her, and these emotions were followed by a swift death. No one could believe that a blind woman was capable of the kind of treachery and stealth that the Ashen Lady employed. Only those who were destined to die by her hand knew the, knew the secret. She would mark her victims with a curse and then follow its scent like a tireless hound. You notice a scrawling on the side of the page that reads, Drivel. The Ashen Lady would have brought mi much more misery to her friends and loved ones had she not received retribution for her sins. Upon hearing word that some crafty murderer had surpassed their own misdeeds with her grim accomplishments, Baphomet's cultists disposed of their rival. They captured her and dragged her down into the abyss. A scribble on the side reads, Serves her right. Let the wretch waste away in our cells. And that's what's chasing after me. Although I think she already killed me. Letter from the Warden's Chambers A page covered in demonic symbols Master, I humbly ask that you double the number of guards under my command. There are now so many captive Galarians and Nocticulous soldiers that we are being forced to put down the, the unsupervised surplus. I suggest we remove the guard from the secret passageway where you know whose ghost hides and reduce the number of, of sentries at the groaning gate. Either way, no enemy is capable of bursting through them. I would also ask to abolish the need to keep watch over Alderpash's cells. Any guard assigned to his chambers gets immediately corrupted by his bribes and promises, becomes his spy, and then has to be executed at once as a warning to the rest. Beyond that, I would like to report the preposterous behavior of the priestess Savendak. She keeps taking my warriors to perform her sacrifices and demanding that my sorcerers restore the magical barrier around some empty cage every cycle. It's about time someone put that deranged bitch in her place. Bowing before your deathly glory, your unworthy slave, upon a Vicious. Alright. Alright, and what do we have here? One could have mistaken this wretched mortal for a stuffed effigy, if not for the eyes alive and full of pain. The hell? 
And it's the same thing. The option to kill them is there, but like, what the hell? Do I kill them? Mm -hmm. The mortal before you who has been turned into a doll is looking at you in desperation and there is but one plea in her gaze to be granted peace. Uh. It seems the prison warden enjoyed the suffering of her inmates so much she even provided herself with a panoramic view of the prison cells from her office. They're probably infested with ticks. Yeah. I don't know if I can save them. I finished here. Is there more? Hmm. Um Cast Restoration on one? Hey, he won't do it. Okay, so you can't cast restoration. Yeah. I don't think it's right to let them live in suffering like this. Hmm. All right. It's probably wrong to do this, but... <sighs> yeah. Actually, hold up. No. Stop, stop. What am I doing? I don't have to do this. If I save the hand of the inheritor, he can save them. Even if I can't. That's what I'll do. Okay. I don't have to be so damn gung-ho to be eager to kill. Alright, I believe... Yeah, she's in here. Let's restore the, the scimitar. If I'm gonna run around swinging the goddess of mercy's weapon... At the very least, I can at least try to be merciful. <laughs> Alright, Cecily. Maniacal joy burns in the specter's eyes. Have you come to torture me? It's too late. I'm free. Free! Mad, mad hysterical laughter quickly turns into equally hysterical weeping. Show her Don Flower's kiss. Is this the sword you were talking about? Cecily extends her trembling hand forward toward the blade. Vile monsters, the once blessed blade. What have they turned it into? Will you let me be the spark that will drive away the evil that has tainted it? Evil, destroy the specter with Dawnflower's kiss. Your death will complete this blade's corruption. She no, what the hell? Hands off, your suffering will be eternal. That's dumb. Let's see. 
Atone, good. Atone for your sin and purify this sword. With a sad smile, Cecily speaks in a surprisingly clear, pure voice. You are a true hero. May your bones not languish in this abyss and not join the myriad others. Lost Donflower's kiss. Received Donflower's kiss. Uh, she's dead. Alright, let's... Let's see what we got here. Dawnflower's Kiss. Let's see, plus five enchantments. Born in the flames of a great battle, this blade was blessed by the radiant Seren Ray and bears a part of her power. After, bear after being in the demon's clutches for so long, it is once again wielded by a worthy warrior, and its light is blinding to all evil. Okay, this plus five scimitar deals 2d6 holy damage on hit. Whenever the wielder confirms a critical hit, it grants them a plus four bonus on initiative rolls, as well as one extra attack with a maximum attack bonus for one round. Well, don't that be it all. Alright, let's see. What does this do? This has an extra 3d6. It's a flaming enchantment. Finian gives a 1d6 bonus. So at the point at this point in time, the Dawnflower's Kiss is better than Finian. So we got a heavenly and de demonic looking blade here. Rupturing Storm and Dawnflower's Kiss. <clears throat> I currently don't really have anyone. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I guess I can have Finian turn into a crossbow. What do you get out of being a paladin? Is all that tedious praising and praying worth it? Claiming your freedom scares you because you don't know if you'll go back to your old way of life. Being a paladin gives me a purpose and my soul peace. I doubt you'll ever understand what that's like. Uh -oh. Let's remove this Smile. eruption. The world's not ending just yet. And let's remove all these death door statuses.
All right. Save. Move on. I'm going to save under into the profile. Let's move. All right. There's some boulders in here. Be wary of both. Understood. Get in here. Get in here. All right, we dodged the boulders. Awaken the magic circle. All right. Okay. No one stands in my way. You'll make a fine trophy. Disappear. Suffering weakened status for thirty seconds. Okay. Loot. Nothing fancy. I'll wait for wait. The flex thirty six. So can't I just... No. Won't really improve my... FLX by much. So I'll just tough it out. Alright, should be fine now. Circle. Hmm. And it's and he's back again. The immense statue is watching you impassively. Its horned head suddenly leans forward and gives you a sly wink. It's still not too late to kneel before me. If you admit here and now that you have no master other than me. I'll grant you permission to take your own life, swiftly and painlessly. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've heard. Let's see, for the last time, let the hand of the inheritor go. No, no, I, I think I'll ask the obvious one. You're not actually expecting me to kill myself, are you? Why not? I'm showing you great mercy by allowing you to bleed out right now, before my executioners get to you. You've heard the screams of your angel, or rather, my angel. For the last time, let the hand of the inheritor go. You're too late. Whatever is waiting for you in the depths of my labyrinth is no longer the angel they called the hand of the inheritor. Now it's just a clot of insanity and pain, tainted and deserving nothing but contempt. 
What will you do with him even if you save him? What riddle are you going to ask me this time? The statue lurches into motion, its heavy footfalls causing the hall to quake. No more riddles, only ruin. It's time you were turn turned to dust, foolish mortal creature. Oh, he's bugging out. Let's have some fun. Yeah, this will be easy. Right? They're just statues. Mm. Wow. I mean, I knew it was going to be easy, but I didn't think it'd be that easy. Plus four glaives. Who makes a statue and then gives a plus four glaive as the finishing touch? Oh, well. Work in the circle. Find the cell of the heritage. Okay, we've done it. We're here. Now the obvious. All right, what do we got to worry about? Angels, all right, so Protection from chaos. Protection from evil. Protection from good. Oh wait, no, stop. What are you doing? Protection from good. And protection from law. Just covering all our bases here. Protection resist fire. Oh wait, no, that's single target. Alright, now. Protection from fire. Protection from acid, coal, sonic, and electricity, and po and delay poison while we're at it. Then the same for protection from fire. There. Next up, how how many bases do I need to cover here? Um. Well, well this is, yeah, yeah. Blessing of luck and resolve. Heroic invocation. Aspect. Alright, that's you. Hurricane Bow. Aspect of the bear. Bark skin on yourself. Let's see. Chameleon Stride. Aspect of the wolf. Blessing of Salamander. I kind of wish this game didn't require so many buffs. We'll make things right. <sighs> but then buffs will become overpowered. Yes. Like there's there's always trade-offs. If you made the game to where buffs were never required, then buffs would become over, like overpowered, and then the game would become too easy. Where I can. 
Let's see here. Veil of Heaven, protection from outsiders. No, I just wish the bus would scale over time, not stack. You're a good person. Hmm. I like you. Less to manage, I get it. It would be less it wouldn't be such a pain in the ass. Let's see. Is there anything else? No, nope, I think that's everything. Oh wait, no, no, no. Divine weapon bond. I forget. I keep forgetting to activate that. I will prove my worth. You use Ranger's bond. All right, now let's go. Oh no. The tall shadow shifts towards you slightly. You see a familiar form, the familiar golden armor, but how much has changed? A malevolent glow streams from the pierced breastplate and cracked helmet. But the change goes much deeper than that. All signs of life and emotion have been drained from the hand of the inheritor. His movements are sharp and precise, mechanical, and gestures impersonal and hollow, as is his voice. Commander Lewis, I have been waiting for you. Defeat the hands of the inheritor. No, why is this the quest? The Lord of the Labyrinth has revealed his plan to me. The former Herald of Ariomede speaks in a monotone as if he is commenting on the weather. He used, to, he used me to open the portals to your lands. He said my soul reached out to you. I do not know why, out of vengeance or as a plea for help or perhaps merely out of habits. Baphomet told me you would come for me and that he would prevail either way, whether I destroy you or you destroy me. Former allies tearing each other to shreds can only benefit him. Angel of Light. What has that monster done to you? Arushale looks at the hand of the inheritor in horror. I have seen those who have fallen low because of their own foolishness, because of others' temptations, my own temptations. But you never even had a choice. You have not made a single mistake, yet you have been corrupted by brute force. What has Baphomet done to you? He killed me without letting me die. The echo of Descari gave him some suggestions on how to sustain me and how to use me further. I've disliked you from the start, Feathers. Windowog spits on the floor at her feet. It'll feel good to knock that copper pot off your shoulders at last. Requires Aeon Mythic Path. I can't do that choice. I can give you your heart back. Strange. I can feel it aching. But it does not matter. I cannot give in to the pain. It has been determined that I will battle you. And that is what I will do. Everything has been leading to this. The inevitable hour has come. Aching. You gain the hand of the inheritor's trust not only by allegedly being the chosen one, but also by your actions. Come on, dude. Why? Let's get this started. Doesn't display Swift. Let's see. K. 
cast Hellfire Blaze. This probably won't work, but cast Well of Banshee. Oh no, this is centered on yourself. Cast Soul Reaver. It's an awful lot of misses. Only 29 damage. Okay. That's probably because of all the unholy damage in, involved. Just cast pure fire. Oh. He's down. Surrender or else. See the... Oh my god. Paladin gets mind control. Way to go, Sila. No, stop beating up Sila. She's... Oh, now she's a cat. Oh my god. Dominate mind, everybody. You are strong, but here in my realm, my power knows no bounds. I would have only to will your victory into nothingness, and it would be done. Minion, be filled with my power and kill the interloper, and I will let you take his heart as I took yours. A lot of firepower. Did he do that thing? For the most part, he did. He moves most of my buffs. See, so with still mind control. Making a charge at us. Darren. Okay. The former angel falls to one knee, but even now his movements are lifeless, apathetic. One who has no heart knows no pain. The end is near, as expected. Finish off the hand of the inheritor. It pains me to see what has become of you. Out of respect for who you once were, I will grant you death. Finish off the hand of the inheritor. I never liked you. Die. Give them, give the hand of the inheritor his heart back. No more. I'll bring you back to life.
The heartbeat in your hand grows stronger as you bring the heart closer to his chest. A beat, another, then another. And then, miraculously, it rushes toward the broken breastplate and takes its rightful place within the chest of the hand of the inheritor. Lost Angel's Heart. What is this? Why does it hurt so much? Why? He sounds shocked. I know why. My own betrayal is tearing at my heart. Champion, my true friend. Is it really you standing before me? Can it be that you have restored life to the one who doubted you in the darkest hour? But why? I deserve no forgiveness. You gained the hand of the inheritance. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. It's a good angel mythic path. I don't have that. I saved you, but that's my only obligation to you. Now, good. You are forgiven. Let's forget all this. His voice trembles. You forgive me, even though I treated you harshly. But I cannot forgive myself. I let a lord of the abyss turn me into a tool for evil. And I will not easily rid myself of this shame. I cannot return to my lady now. I must go into exile to purge my soul of sorrow, doubt, misery, and uncertainty. I have sunk too low. I am too lost. But thanks to you, I have a chance to fi of finding the path of truth again some day. Farewell, champion. May the God's grace shine upon you. Yeah, you're welcome. Would've been nice if you just gave me the, and gave me a ticket out of here too, but you know, it's all good. We got pretty messed up in there. Base. All right, heal up. There. Exit there. Oh wait, uh huh. Loot the bodies. You never know. That's eh, not all that. It's not fancy. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Area exit. Ah, Dim and Dan Bombardier. Sure. Nothing to it. Oh, wait, no. God damn it. I gotta load. No. Oh, man. Can't load. I suppose I could load the game. I should. Oh, well. Save. We're technically done here, but only technically. Here, right? Yeah, it's here. Oh, 
Okay. I thought the hand of the inheritor would help you guys, but he didn't. Sorry. You're gonna release Al Alderpash? Huh? No, no, I'm not releasing Alderpash. I just forgot to come back to basically kill these guys so they won't have to suffer anymore. All right, that's it. I'm not releasing a, the Rune Lord of Wrath. That just seems very, very stupid to me. Even if I, even if I want to be evil, it sounds very stupid to me. Not just because it's like a lit who promised he's going to do evil, but because he's like he has the origins of magic on his side. The idea of being able to beat a lich like that is pretty far-fetched. All right, moving on. With all that done. Save. Wait, no, I don't have to. Right, just save here and let's see. Where to next? I don't have to go to eyes yet. I want to go to the bladesmith's workshop. Looks like I have to go through this de this demon army first, though. So, gonna have this guy go out of his way to do just that. To Canabras, get your new powers. I'll I'll get there, but for now, like the reason I don't like I don't want to do it is because right now is because the the movement speed will be wasted, and now I'll go teleport. Dresden and from Dresden to Canabras. All things in time. Oh my god. I forgot. No, just go back into Dresden. Yeah, you're exhausted. That's fine. Enter. I forgot. Like, I gotta sell all this crap because it's gonna slow down my trap, my map travel speed to a crawl. Right.
Well, just as good as anyone else. Show me your free fling connections. Alright. And dice. Alright, bulk selling. Yeah, pretty weighed down here. And then ah uh, in weight. What the oh, hold on. No ditch. Glaives, glaive, swan glaives, long spears, keen long spears, plus three crossbows, Lessons. more hammer. That's right, so a plus five player. Knight crossbows. Short swords, javelins. To King Kukri. You can sell that. Punching daggers. Alright, that's it for weapons. Armor. 12 chain shirts. 10 breastplates. Plus full plate. Chain shirt. Plus 5 chain shirt. Excuse. Probably hold on to that. Plus four missile breastplate, so that. Just a plus two shield. That's that's about it. Right. Nineteen rings. Two there. Three there. Four of those. Four of those. Four of those. These, so these, and these. All right, I think that's everything. That I'm willing to sell right now, anyway. All right, rest up. And this leg. Fun. People stay at public inns, sleeping among strangers unarmed. Do they know what easy prey they make? That's a good thing. It makes my job much simpler. All right, David wanted to talk a while ago. 
Darren appears at your door with a bottle of wine and a smile on his lips. He appears to have completely recovered from his shock and is livelier than ever. A break from the duties of commander is called for. Lewis, I have a brilliant idea. This will be bad. He points at the bottle. I want to commemorate the heroic inquisitor Leotr Hawkblade. May his soul find a w the way to the throne of his goddess. And so on and so forth. He was the only god botherer I actually happened to like. Quite an achievement, I say. Are you joking? Not at all. I sincerely want to pay tribute to the man who... who did so much for me. Ha. Take the wine. Let's drink to the altar. Darren drinks a glass of wine with you in silence, then smiles. All's well that ends well, and with that I shall take my leave. But that adventure we had, it, was, it truly was outstanding. Hmm. Oh yes, here's a little present from me, in honor of our shared views on the Inquisition, so to speak. Star Embroidered Gloves. Okay. Let me check what that's about. From oldest to newest. Stop the filter. These gloves grant their wearer spell resistance 30 as well as a plus 2 luck bonus on all saving throws. Well, that's pretty good. Damn. Okay. Well, with all that out the way... He had those all along? <laughs> Would've been nice to have those in a lot of battles. Oh, well. Let's see. Let's just... Let's just go get those dragon powers. Takes two days. Oh, right. I forgot. Keep going. And now with that out the way. Sorry about that. Okay. Begin resting. All the paladins I'd met before behaved very piously. They abhorred frivolity of any kind. You're not like that at all. You're not afraid to be yourself. The paladins you're talking about? They were easy to break, right? It's easy to break someone who's running from themselves. Hmm. Oh. 
see recruitments to be had, witches, sorcerers. Alright, so recruit the sorcerers. Which of these armies has sorcerers? You. Sorcerers and war priests. What else you got? Nothing else. Alright. Champions. So you get the witches anyway. <laughs> yeah. Go figure, right? Okay, let's see. Put these. We'll have them run over to eventually meet up with army number two. Yeah. The main problem with the witches is I have no one to team them up with. Like, at all. Everybody's at capacity. I can recruit them for the hell of it, though. Just have them go over here and run in this corner over here. And just sit there. Meanwhile, I can recruit the clerics and send them to join this army, not this army. Yeah. The one near this outpost. What is that? Yeah, here it is. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get back to moving to Canabras. Wait. Right, I forgot about you. Move. So finally, we can finally start clearing out Hmm. Or the, the, the demon fort get to the blades workshop. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Deal with the cultists before we deal with the cultist fighters. Just block. Firewall. Take out the rest of the cultists down here. Sweet. Deal with these guys. 
This is a good chunk of them. Finish them off. All right, now that you go. Shoot these guys down. Start gunning these guys down. Just for a hell of it. Alright. No loss. Having wiped out the cultists, the crusaders discover many blood street golden idols. The soldiers fire up the camp forge and toss them into the flames. The heat of the forge melts the blasphemous statues down as the fighters cheer and whistle. 3,000 finance points found. All right. Then deal with the you know, the fort. Okay, what do we got? Dorothy. And there's a lot of her. Let's see, Panagi. The Brez is okay. It's looking like it's quite a list. Let's kill the Panagi. Okay, let's kill the... Let's kill the Durakmi. Hedge Knights are more hurt. Let's finish it. Alright. Now I'll be able to go to the blade, that bladesmith's place, no problem. One of the prisoners informs the soldiers that the captured fortress was called the Castle of Desires. A cunning Glabrizu tempter turned all the mortals that lived here into slaves in exchange for granting their deepest wishes. Of course, all his promises turned out to be lies and illusions. Okay. 
that's it. Should be able to get to. Actual blade workshop or the bladesmith. Oh yeah, just a lot of enemies. Way too many enemies. One down. Deal with these guys next. Ah, nope. I can't fight these guys. Not yet. Army strength of 12 is too much. While they think about what they can't do. Let's continue the trek to Cannabis. Okay. Evade. Keep going. to feel more than one emotion at any given moment. <laughs> Time for some dragon powers. Okay. Lady in distress. 
I have brought you cheese. Oh, I see. He didn't cheese, so you decided to bring the whole creamery. Whoops. Vote. I forgot about that. Um, I can do this right. What happened? Oh, I think I screwed up by trying to grab every single block of cheese at one point. So I'm gonna drop all the cheese that I had that wasn't the one that I was supposed to bring. I'll just pick it up later. Behold, like so, notable, it's, n it's not notable, okay. Here it is, okay, drop. Drop. Hmm. Yeah, this is it. Drop this one. It should just be that should be the only one left. No, nope. soft cheese, honey. All right. I've brought you cheese. The woman takes the wheel of cheese and sniffs it. Yes, that's it. That's the smell. And look at its fake solid ring. See the brand here? A mare galloping beneath the stars. That's the brand of the Windstep clan. There are hardly any of them left now. Their graves have been lost to time, and their memory forgotten. But at least you have brought me th this small remembrance of them. For that, I am so grateful. There were master craftsmen and artisans among them. But they say that the greatest of all was Rudger the White, a cheesemaker. He was not a warrior, mage, or priest, yet his fame spread all across Galarian. I remember him sitting there, smoking his pipe, as he watched the mares graze on the emerald grass beneath the endless blue skies. And even in the darkest of lands, anyone who had even the smallest taste of his cheese would feel as if they were there, in the field, on that calm and sunny day, and their soul would find joy in existence. The woman nods approvingly. Well done. Out of all the cheeses in the world, you found the right one. This is the cheese I wanted. I believe your keen skills of observation and cheese selection merit a special reward. Glass, colorful feathers, magical acorns, shadow clover. Okay, cool. Don't go just yet. I wanted to ask you something. When my grandfather gave me cheese, he would also ask me a riddle. You need salt to make cheese. It preserves the cheese, but it also gives it flavor. What is Galarian salt? What allows us to exist here and makes our lives worth living? Uh. Players? <laughs> um, hold on. Snow, wisdom, 
Uh, I guess the closest to that. The common folk? That is correct. Wars come and go, but farmers have been plowing their, their fields since time immemorial. Spinners and weavers, cheesemakers and woodcutters, horse herds and blacksmiths. The world as we know it would not exist without the common folk. There's no more Rudger the White, no more fields of green, only a scorched waste. I will share this cheese with the Sarkorians who live here in Canabras, and together we'll remember what we've lost. Warriors are not the only ones worth remembering. If we forget Sarkoris as it was during times of peace, we will forget what it is we are fighting for now. That's pretty deep. All right. Save. All right. Concerned philosopher. Amateurs, amateurs, all of them. They seek to pervert priceless knowledge. Here's the book. You, here's the book you wanted. The old man squints at the cover nearsightedly. He flicked through a few pages. Yes, this is the one. You, oh, you found it. This is superb. Here, here, look. A large number of angels can dance in a single ray of the sun. And this number should be multiplied by three during for us. Ha. Huh. I can't wait to see the look on Arivo's face. You may think this is all nonsense and the book isn't worth reading. But you would be wrong. Almester may have been eccentric, but he had a truly magnificent mind. Not, not all of his works have been deciphered yet, but this one leaves no room for doubt. Look right here, after the part about the angels. This brilliant scholar just casually jotted down a recipe for an incredibly powerful healing potion and then went back to contemplating lofty ideas. Such genius of intellect. He was truly one of a kind. No matter how strange a person may seem, you should never dismiss their intelligence, kindness, or wisdom. You never know what you will learn if you simply look and listen. And don't be hasty. There is always time to stop investigate things further, and complicate everything thoroughly. Then and only then will you draw the right conclusions. That is the basis of the scientific approach. That is how you gain true knowledge, instead of simply scratching the surface. Now before you leave, here's a little brain exercise for you. What do knowledge and a sip of water have in common? And then we're refreshing. Both can save someone's life. You never have enough of either. No, you can drown. <laughs> so, I don't think that's the right answer. Uh, let's see. Both can save someone's life. How very true. I couldn't have answered better myself. It only takes a small sip of water to save someone who is dying of thirst, and a book that seems useless may actually save many lives. A wonderful answer, and I'm genuinely grateful for your help. All right. And then I suppose a carefree girl. Alright. I wonder what kind of cake mom is going to bake. Maybe there'll be frosting. Here, I think these are the right flowers. Yes, you found them. Hooray, thank you. Now I will be now I will have the best crown. And all the other girls will be so jealous. 
Oh, they are so beautiful. Even demons can't ruin angel blooms. I have a riddle for you. What is stronger than gods, devils, and demon lords? Death. <laughs> the, the commander of Dresden. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure the right answer is hope. <laughs> so I'm going to say hope. You figured it out. How clever. That's the right answer. Hope is like angel blooms. You can find it even in the most terrible places. These flowers survive in places where nothing else can grow. And hope is the same way. Even if someone is very bad, there's always hope that they'll become nice one day. There's always a chance that goodness will sprout in their heart. I like this. Right. How the celiac smiles at you. Well, child, how go your studies? I helped everyone I could find. I'm ready for my next lesson. Yeah. How the celiac smiles. Patience, patience, child. I'm pleased with your progress. You overcame your pride and fulfilled the strange, nonsensical requests of strangers. These things might have seemed foolish to you, but they were important to those who sought them. I think the spirit of a gold dragon is strong within you, but my comrades would like to say a few words. Ah. Tivanatis. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Thank you for asking me to do this, Halaseliax. I never thought I'd find myself helping a warm blood become a dragon. <laughs> and I played my role well, didn't I? I was spectacular. You were overacting, Tavanadis. I could tell that you were putting on a performance. I know copper dragons love a good joke, but Haliceliax asked us to test the commander without arousing suspicion. His plan could have failed because of you. Typical Orgamonide. Orgamondius. You can't go a year without criticizing someone. I'm surprised Haliceliax asked you for help to help. I bet you pointed out all the flaws in his plan, too. After all, no warm blood has ever become a dragon before. So we've been running errands for a bunch of dragons. I must admit, I didn't like the first one all that much. And now there are four of them. Halaseliax <laughs> clears his throat. Tivanadis. Orgomandus. Nidalin. Thank you for your assistance, but I do wish that you would put aside your non-stop bickering for just a moment. Lewis can't get a word in edgewise. So you're dragons too? Why did you decide to get involved? Alaseliax is our dear friend. He told us about you. And we were intrigued. Your situation is highly unusual. Truth be told, I didn't expect much out of this little exercise. I just thought it would be entertaining. A way to stave off boredom. But you've exceeded all my expectations. It has truly been an honor to meet a warm-blooded creature with the soul of a dragon. First, how Celiax pretended to be a healer and now this. Do dragons enjoy deceiving people? Different dragons enjoy different things. I enjoy jokes and games. So when Heliceliax asked for my help, how could I refuse? Strange people asking you to bring them unusual things. It sounded so amusing. We had so much fun coming up with the silly things to ask. 
Dragons often take human form. Sometimes they do it because they're bored, and sometimes they do it because it is necessary to achieve some greater purpose. For example, they may disguise themselves as druids and ask the crusaders to give them the woundworm eggs the commander took from the ivory sanctum. Thank you for those, by the way. Rest assured, we'll take good care of them. It hasn't always been easy for me to understand mortals and their desires, but the learning process has brought me great joy. Arushale blushes and falls silent. Ah, a demon who doesn't want to be a demon anymore. I like you. Maybe I can come visit you someday. We can chat and get up to all sorts of antics together. Can I join you too, please? I don't know much about antics, but I can laugh along with you. It would make me happy just to stand to the side and watch you have fun. Alright. So, what the hell are you doing up there? Alright. So, how did you. How did I do? Did I pass the test? Your performance was satisfactory. You passed a test that many dragons would have failed. I can assure you that some dragons would have would not have understood the point of our request. But you've shown humility and a commendable desire to help others. Please accept the potion that was created from the recipe in the book you've saved. Hmm? We're in wound worms. That's what Devara wa was a wound worm. Who's Devara? No. Oh, well. I probably heard the name, but it's just been so long since I saw them. All right. Your concern seems seemed sincere, and I'd like to believe that your kindness was genuine. As a silver dragon, I believe kindness and sincerity are the, of the most utmost importance. However, it is not just the soul that needs to be m nourished. You must also sustain your body. Here's a slice of Master Rutger's cheese. You should try some the next time you make camp. Just remember to eat it slowly, savor its flavor, and be grateful. Potion of Cure Critical Wounds. Oh, you did such a great job. I would have loved to give you even more errands. I'm very happy for you, dragon. Oh, by the way, here's the Angel Bloom crown. I actually made a wreath from the flowers. Hmm. So, what's my next lesson? This is going to be more of a request than a lesson. But I am about to send you somewhere that will enrich your soul and mind. Deep within the wound. A sacred egg is hidden in the caves known as the B Dragon Burial Ground. The child inside that egg is the last of the divine dragons. His name is Jar Jarsgiax. Or, no, Jarsigax. Jarsigax. Oh my god, that name. That's a name. Hold on. I I'm gonna try this. His name is Jarsigax Agharmonaliandri. Agharmonaliandri. The legends say that Jarsigax will become even more powerful than Apsu. Once he hatches, he will change the world forever. Ooh. For centuries, metallic dragons have protected the egg from chromatic dragons. The silver dragons wanted to make sure that no one would steal the sacred child, so they appointed a guardian to look after Jars Sigax. Oh, that's a name. Hok Hokugal Ruziref. Ruziref. But that was 2,000 years ago, and I am starting to worry. 
Please go pay Hokugal a visit. We haven't heard from him in a long time. Don't worry, he'll recognize the gold dragon within you. And if you win his trust, he will let you see the resting place of the sacred child. They say that Jar Sagax can reach out through his dreams and bless the souls of other dragons. Who knows? Perhaps you will be blessed. And if not, well, I'm sure your conversation with Hokugal will still prove beneficial. There is much he can teach you. Let's see. The Dragon Burial Ground. I know that place. An archaeologist by the name of Lathamus, the antiquarian, asked me to escort him there. Holoceliax looks surprised. An archaeologist? Strangers and outsiders should not be snooping around the Dragon Burial Ground. If the alarm bell did not ring, then he must not pose a threat. But still, if that man is there when you return, please ask him to leave. The sacred child should not be disturbed. The sacred child? Who are his parents? They are the creators, they are the creators, the first dragons. They created many of the gods you are familiar with. Of course, many of the gods have also been destroyed by the fierce dragon, the Hawk, the firstborn of creation. However, by some miracle, Jahar Sigax managed to survive. Now he is hidden here on Galarian. Perhaps the poor child refuses to hatch because he is afraid of the Hawk. Halaseliak shakes his head. Even the protection of the Guardian may not be enough to make him feel safe. Alright, I'll go there now. Safe travels. I hope you return with good tidings. So I'm gonna have four dragons. Who would have thought that a dr human could become a dragon? This story will live on in legends. It's been a while since I've seen the guardian Hokugal. But that is a good thing. If he's silent, it means that all is well. I really want to see the egg, the sacred egg too. I wonder what it looks like. Hmm? All this and no new powers, right? Hello, Celiax gives you a friendly nod. Do you wish to ask something to help? So I have some questions about the dragon burial ground. I'm disappoint. I will answer them gladly. Oh, wait, no. This is all the same. Yeah, there's nothing new here. Oh, wait, huh? You mentioned something about a guardian? A long time ago, the silver dragon Hokugal... Ruzir Zirath was appointed to be the guardian of the sacred child. He has no he has not left the cave in a hundreds of years, so I'm sure he'll be glad to see a new face. I hope he is alive and well, for his vigil is almost at an end. I'd like to discuss something else. Certainly. What would you like to discuss? I have no more questions. In that case, safe travels, child. And send our regards to Hokukal. can still take those cheeses and sell them later. Alright, let's get out of here. And we are back to... What time is it? Oh man, we're way past time. Alright. 
Well, that's a little disappointing. All right, we're gonna stop here. I don't know it. Yeah, we'll stop here for now. No, I'm I'm torn. I normally stop around this time, but you know I'm so close to getting the dragon power. Screw it, I'm gonna go for the long haul. We'll keep this up. Teleport back to Dresden. Let's see you. Um. You can't do anything against any of these armies here. Thankfully, you don't really have to. I'll just tell you to go over here. Right. And take out these demon armies over here. Eventually, I guess. I don't know. Okay, moving back to you, we're going to go to Dragon Burial Ground. Takes a day. Right, hold on. Almost forgot. Take a while. Okay. You could at least try to look like you give a damn about anyone but yourself. Do my ears deceive me? Is a paladin of Iomidae encouraging me to lie? <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible.
Gonna take one last rest here. For a troglodyte, you show no fear of the sky or open space. Or are you simply good at hiding your fear? I don't waste time looking about me. I only look for what it is I want to kill, eat, or fuck. And once I found my target, it's the only thing. She knows what she wants. Yeah. Here we go. As far as I can tell, this is the last room. You can't keep the alarm bell silent forever, Helen. When it rings, the fury of the metallic dragons will descend upon you. They'll protect the sacred child. I don't need to silence the bell. I'm going to destroy it. But you won't be alive long enough to witness its destruction. Gall. Stop. Stop him. The silver dragon tries to rise, but he is too weak. He... He's a priest of the hawk. He wants to take the child. I am Horkogal Ruziref, the protector of this cave. I beseech you, help me, vanquish him, protect the child. The black dragon turns slowly in your direction. The metallics were too frightened to challenge me themselves. Instead, they have sent the commander. It is most unfortunate. Well then, what will you do, commander? Will you allow the metallic dragons to continue hiding that which belongs to all of us? Or will you slay the keeper and change the course of history? You must decide quickly. Ah, Laphimus, you're a dragon? Did you enjoy my little charade? I know how warm bloods feel about black dragons. I can imagine the kind of reception I would have had if I appeared to you in my true form. But I didn't lie to you about my work. I wish to change the future of our kind. The metallic dragons are hiding away something that rightfully belongs to all dragons, and I am here to retrieve it. You've come to seize the child, to make him a monster, just like your master, Dahak. Do you think you can disguise your true intentions with all this talk of fairness? Your soul is rotten to the core, Havelophimus. Hokugawa Ruzaref, I know that name. I... Hokugal spits out a mouthful of blood for many centuries now. I've stood watch over the sacred child. 
Help me. If Havalathimus gets to him, it will be the end. It won't be the end, Hokugawa. On the contrary, this is only the beginning. You are old and frail. You are not strong enough to protect the child. The servants of the Hawk are powerful. We will make far better guardians. Before I do anything, I have some questions. <laughs> I will answer. Don't listen to him. He, I will tell you the truth. The truth? You are nothing more than a pawn, Hokugal. You do what you are told and play your role dutifully, but you know nothing. Remind me, why is this child so important? The child is the subject of an ancient legend. At the dawn of creation, at the beginning of time, Two streams, order and chaos, came together and took form. They became the first dragons and gave birth to the gods. But the hawk, the eldest son, fierce and proud, refused to share his power. He destroyed as many of his brothers and sister as he could. But one last egg was hidden on Galarian by his cowardly father, Apsu. No one knows what will hatch from it, a being of order, a being of chaos and destruction. But when it happens, the future of dragon kind will be changed forever. This child will herald the dawn of a new era. No one can say wh when he's destined to be born. And so we keep him safe, hidden in secret caves. Uh -huh. Hidden in secret caves. Your... Your lot will never have the child. We won't let you corrupt him. We must, we must raise him with love. Teach him how to be kind and good so that the world will prosper. This child is our future. Who said anything about corruption? Do you think my master, De Hawk, was corrupted? No. He was born proud, raging, and free. So why are you so certain the divine child will be any different upon his birth? The metallic dragons believe the egg was hidden by the cowardly Apsu. But what if it wasn't Apsu? What if Master De Hawk hid the egg instead? Perhaps he knew that one day a worthy ally would be born, an ally who would help him overthrow his father. Laphimus, you're a priest of De Hawk? I serve the greatest of dragons, the rageful Dahak, son of Apsu, the one whose breath set hell aflame, the one who shall unseat his father and usher in a new age of Forgolarian, an age of glorious conflict. Doesn't the thought of it fill your soul with longing? At long last, we will unleash the pure rage, fury, and chaos in our hearts. We shall become free free, but at what cost? Galarian will be left in ruins. Why would you desire such freedom? No, mortal, don't let him. He wants to use the sacred child to destroy our world. What is the alternative? Order and restraint for all et of eternity? What a dull existence. You metallics are so terrified of soiling your shiny scales. You fear corruption. You try so hard to always do the right thing. You spend months deliberating over the right course of action. Is this your idea of freedom? Ha! Huh. There is no freedom without chaos. Apsu made us slaves to order, but the hawk, the hawk shall set us free and the sacred child will help him break our chains. So you managed to open the door, Laphimus. Why didn't you send for me like you said you would? And let that old crook Haliceliax find out about my plan? Sorry, but I wasn't going to take the, that risk. 
I know your mentor well. He pretends to be very wise, and he'll offer you sage advice, but he is too cowardly and lazy to do anything himself. You should be careful about trusting his wisdom. Think about what happened to all his other students. He filled their heads with tales of goodness and bravery, and they rushed headlong into a battle they couldn't win. And where are they now, hmm? Won't listen. Don't listen to this scoundrel, Hel Haliceliac sensed that the child was in danger. His wisdom and foresight are known to many, and this black wretch is just trying to confuse you. Don't give in. Why are you asking me for help, Laphimus? I'm a gold dragon, and you're a black dragon. We're enemies. I don't know what the metallic dragons have told you, Commander. Did they appeal to your inner goodness? Did they say you have a pure heart and a kind soul? Did they call you the perfect dragon? Well, there can be no light without darkness. You are a warrior, and therefore a killer. You possess the desire to take lives. I know it may be unpleasant to hear this. I'm sure you've used, you're used to everyone calling you a hero. But we all have a dark side. Even you acknowledge its existence, and the hawk will accept your honesty. He will never demand more from you than you are able to give. The hawk, the hawk will take everything from you. He brings only death and ruin. You... You are capable of so much more. The gold dragons are the best of us, the wisest. They protect the innocent. You fight to protect, not to kill. Do not forget this, ever. All right, what does that bell do? That bell will signal, uh, will send a signal to the metallic dragons. Its sound will let them know that the child is in danger. Their presence would complicate matters significantly. Trust me, a fight with them would be a lot harder than beating up a half-dead guardian. You can't break it. The bell's enchantments and protect it against dragons like you. Alright, enough. I want to ask something else. Well, make it quick. I still have some unfinished business to take care of. Well, I, I guess I'm done. All right. Well, I'm gonna help Hokogal. I'll help Hokogal, the keeper, as opposed to the one who just lied to me. I don't have the strength to fight, but please defeat him and take take the egg. You have my blessing. What a surprise! Another metallic dragon has decided to claim the egg as his property. Well, you have made a grave mistake. Ah, eh, we'll be fine. Darren, cast something. Cast, uh... Another dragon fight. Yeah, but this one will be easy. Oh, wait. No, it won't. You're not buffed. Yeah, that's why I say it's not going to be easy. Ah, crap. Alright, well, at least Smite Evil will work on it. Oh, it barely did any damage. Oh, but it scared Arusha away. Yeah, look at this guy go. He's, he's just going down easy. Done. Please, go see if the egg is unharmed. Now look at that. The dragon was weak. I got some gloves, though. What do I got? Unholy knee pads. Gotta have my knee pads.
Let's see here. Oh, come on. That was disappointing. Yes, it was. There was no need to prep for anything. It just went down. All right, let's see. What's in here? I lead. You follow. Yeah, it's a crumpled up. Yeah. The murals all share the common motif of two intertwined rivers, one dark and the other light. These represent the fresh water and salt water streams from which the dragon gods appeared. This image depicts a man and a woman holding hands above a cradle. The woman's face has been scratched off and her features are impossible to distinguish. Oh, let's loot the place. What do we got? We got some special glasses. Goggles of piercing gaze. Let's see. These goggles grant the their wearer a plus one inside bonus on attack and damage rolls against outsiders, as well as a plus ten on persuasion skill checks. Not bad. She's already wearing something. She's already wearing something. I guess I'll give it to Windwog or Sila. Windwog makes more attacks per round. Let's go. More intimidation. Oh no, I already got it beat. Uh, let's see. The glass, the goggles I have give me a plus 15 competence bonus on persuasion skill checks as opposed to a plus 10. My intimidation cannot be matched. a giant molten lava. Okay. Right. As soon as you touch the egg, it cracks. You watch as small, strong wings break through the shell, and then a tiny, iridescent dragon emerges. He stretches, as if he just woke up from a long sleep, and looks at you questioningly, with his big violet eyes. <laughs> All this fuss over some pipsqueak? The evil, so you're the special lizard, huh? All the dragons want to claim you for their own, but you're you're my treasure now. No. See, good. Hi there, little one. Don't worry, I won't let anyone hurt you. The dragon lets out a happy squeak and flaps his wings. His gleaming scales are the color of gold. He is watching you closely, and when you look into his eyes, a shiver runs down your spine. This is an ancient, powerful creature, a creature as old as time itself. Hokugo looks like he's about to collapse, the sacred child. He pauses and gazes at the little dragon in sh stunned silence. Then he laughs with joy. Oh, my child, oh, Jasar, Jar Sagax, Aghamorna Leandre, you little wonder, you finally decided to make your appearance. Jahar Sagax's gleaming scales are now silver. He spreads his wings happily, but does his best to stay close to you. I see, I see. I have grown too old now and can't protect you as I once did, so you've chosen yourself a new guardian, if such is your will. 
I touched the shell and he hatched. Is that bad? That? No, not at all. The child responded to your touch. He decided that it was finally time to emerge from his shell. This is a momentous occasion. Everything is about to change. Perhaps I should feel more afraid. Perhaps I should feel an anxiety about this child's future and the future of all dragon kind. But surprisingly, my heart is at peace. I cannot delay the inevitable indefinitely. And in his wisdom, Jahar Sagax, Akamor Naliandri has already given us plenty of time to prepare for this day. Ember gazes at you pensively. Wherever you go, everything changes. Eternities end, some die, and others are born. All becomes new and nothing stays the same. Who are you? It's a mystery. Jahar Sagax Agamornaliandri. He already has a name. Yes, he does. A dragon's name grows with them as they age. The older the dragon, the longer the name. Jahar Sagax Agamornaliandri spent many centuries in his shell. He is an ancient being. He lived in this world during his long slumber, and that is why his name is so long at birth. You're speaking to him as if you know him personally. I've protected this cavern for many years. During my time as a guardian, Jahar Sagax Akamornaliandri would appear to me in my dreams. I don't know how to explain it, but he would speak to me without saying a word. I, I've i grown to care for him as if he were my own child. Hokugal lowers his eyes. I know, it is disrespectful to speak of a divine being in such a manner, but guardians are always lonely. Jahar Sagax Akham Morna Leandri is the only family I have. It gets easier to say the more I say it, but god damn, that's a fucking name. Alright. If he means that much to you, I'll leave him here with you. No, no. He's made his choice. He's chosen you as his guardian and teacher. The child cannot remain in his egg forever. He needs to grow and see the world, but I will always remember him. How can he choose anybody? He's an infant. <laughs> he is a divine infant, not a duckling looking for its mother. He possesses the power of and wisdom of his parents. He sees things that we cannot perceive. I trust his choice. What am I supposed to do with him? Care for him. Raise him into a strong, magnificent dragon. A new deity of goodness and order who will make the world a better place. Now I can finally be at peace. My duty is done. You must look after the divine child. You will help him usher in the dawn of a new glorious era. What if I raise him to be a creature of chaos? It is not in my power to stop you. Not even the great Apsu could prevent you from raising the child as you wish. But metallic dragons dream of a better world. It is in our nature to hope. I have faith in Jahar Sagax Akhamor Naliandri. He represents the dawn of a new era. Nothing can blemish his pure soul. Farewell, Hokugal Ruzira. Farewell, Commander. And farewell to you, Jahar Sagax Akhamor Naliandri. Grow big and strong and kind, just like your great father. The little dragon flaps his wings in farewell. Neat. Um, received item, 
Jaharasigax. Uh, so he's in my inventory. Yep, there he is. Summon Jaharsagax. Jaharsagax randomly provides additional D4 cold, fire, electric acid, or electricity damage on a successful hit with a weapon. Oh my. Well. One of these has to go. I'll kick out the Triceratops statue. No one stands in my way. Indeed. Summon. I'll just summon a mini deity. <laughs> Onwards. All right. So do I go back to Soliax? Yep. A weak ass dragon. No reason to be scared of him. Yup, and still no mythic rank. Pretty sure it's pretty clear the only reason I've been trying I've been dragging out the stream right now is because I wanted to finish up this whole thing and finally turn into a dragon. But damn it's taking long. Move out. I'm gonna continue until you rank up. More or less. At least that was the idea. I, I thought I'd be done by now. <laughs> One way down here. I suppose I'm going to deal with that before he actually even comes down and starts attacking. Whatever it is, it's weak. At the very least, it's weaker than this army. Maybe it's supposed to be strong. Zero damage. Smite. This guy. Cultist Mages.
Every single dragon is like a serious loss. Sure. Heal. And that's it. Level up. Breath of life, hold, good person, or not good help. Yeah, hold. Unit can't move for two. Uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty damn good. Alright, save. Go back with you. Teleport to Dresden. Enter. Citadel, long rest, and then get out.
why I forget. Let's get this out the way. There's some relics I should do. Since I've been skipping up, since all these days have been going by, I could have had some relics restored. Alright, I'll post the event. Well, conscription was done. Let's see. Executioner. A chilling truth about one of Dresden's jailers has come to light. He secretly became a worshipper of Zon Kufan, terrorized all the prisoners, and learned magic that allowed him to use his brutal punishments to leech the life force of it from his victims. Punish the jailer, encourage the jailer. Path of the Lich. Transfer the jailer to the officer corpse. No. Punish the jailer. The acolytes of Zon Kufan do not belong in a sacred army. Seeing the jailer punished convinced the soldiers that they were right to follow the commander. Fretton. The spies have reported that the enemy is preparing a series of attempts on the officers' lives. The generals are asking the commander to take precautions and protect his loyal servants. The officer guard the officers both during battles and in between them. Let's see. Give the officers the same living conditions as regular soldiers. Path of the Lich. Train the officers to fight off assassins. Security training. All generals gain 30,000 experience. No. We're not done with leveling up the military, so we'll, we'll do that. Guard the officers during and in between battles. Groups of guardians were formed to protect the officers. They remain watchful day and night and have already prevented several assassination attempts. And last, the... Uh, right. Summon the embrace of the faceless. Let's see. Whenever you cast a grease spell, all creatures within the area take 5d6 damage. Okay. And Voice of the Faceless. Whenever you cast an ear piercing scream spell, the damage it deals is no longer limited to 5d6. Instead, it deals 1d6 per two caster levels. Creatures who fail the saving throw against it become dazed for two rounds instead of one. And the amulet also increases the DC of all spells with Sonic Descriptor you cast by two. Yeah, let's grab that. Jubilex heard the call and answered it. Decrees. Strengthening the chain of command. The war wears soldiers down and defeatist attitudes sink in in order to... Reinforce the discipline. The commander's staff council must look for new solutions. Issue decree. Let's see, what do we got here? The voracious, the fate of the voracious jumble. Uh, sure. Northern Lights. Stargazers of Pelora sh Shrine have shared their knowledge with the commander. For many years, they've been creating an artifact that could weaken the connection between Threshold and the Abyss by shining Pelora's Northern Lights down upon the fortress. The project requires just a little more work before it can be put into action. The commander will gain a powerful weapon that could one day 
affect the outcome of the entire war. Yeah, issue decree. That'll take 20 days. Not a problem. Anything else? Nope. 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 Alright, let's go. Rest up. Uh, I had a messed up childhood, but uh, sometimes I think back on it fondly. Uh, life was so easy. You were smaller, so it was easier for you to cut purses and get away without being caught. Am I right? Don't tell me. I know I'm right. All right, Captain Harmattan. Commander, glad to see you back with us. Captain Harmattan has barely changed since your last meeting, but his glare is now even heavier than before, and his arms and face bear new scars. You've arrived just in time. There is unrest within your force once again. Unfortunately, once you returned, so did the wary. They're turning the soldiers against you. I'm afraid we're dealing with an open mutiny. They're agitating for the army to abandon Dresden and march to Eyes, to Her Majesty's aid. If we don't stop them, the outcome may be disastrous. Let's meet with the wary. I don't believe it will be hard to convince them that their plan is, pu is pure madness. We'll gather loyal officers and send them to speak with the soldiers, unarmed, and with an open heart. We'll convince them to turn their backs on those madmen and their mutiny. Behind every rebellious leader is a very angry second-in-command who dreams of promotion. We'll just hint at the fastest way to get it, and the mutiny will fade away by itself with the added benefit of refreshing our staff. If the wary are so loyal to the queen, why didn't they leave with her instead of remaining in Dresden? I couldn't say, Commander. I believe we should talk to them and find out their reasoning and their plan of action. I do agree that this all looks very suspicious. Either we... Either way, many say that you have no right to give orders to anyone, since the Queen relieved you of your command even before you went into the Abyss. Technically speaking, they're not entirely wrong. It'll be hard to make them reconsider. Perception 24, uh, 42. Yeah, I can't fail. You also have a great deal of respect for Queen Godfrey, don't, don't you? I'm a soldier. It's my duty to respect my superiors. I hold you in high esteem as well. You catch nervous trembling in Harmattan's voice, partially masked by his calm and relaxed tone. Let's discuss our options in further detail. As you command. Sila, what's your plan? Even if there were any doubts before, it's perfectly clear now the soldiers are not to blame for anything. They are being provoked by dishonorable officers. It would be a crime to turn our loyal troops against them. We, those who give them orders, must convince them not with blades, but with words. 
We will appeal to their conscience and make them abandon this madness. No matter what the insights in their command are saying. Darren, your opinion, please? Behind the back of every disgruntled officer is a whole queue of aspirants eager to take their place. To get rid of the ringleaders of the wary, we won't even have to hire assassins. The promise of a promotion and a pay raise is all it will take for any second in command to do their duty. Be it by a dagger or a drop of poison, they'll make good officers, feared by allies and enemies alike. I know that the word honor means nothing to you, but this idea is horrible even from the most cynical perspective. What's the point of ridding ourselves of schemers and traitors if we're going, only going to replace them with other schemers and traitors? And murderers to boot. Captain Harmadin, what would you advise? I think their talks of a self-directed march are a bluff. Only lunatics would follow such a suicidal plan. We need to talk to the wary and ask them what they really want. I'm pretty sure that we all know what they want. The same thing as everybody else. Power and money. We'll just be playing into the hands of the wary if we sit down and talk with them as equals. Thank you. Everything, everything is clear. What are your orders? All right, let's see. I'll do this my way. We'll surround their forces, cut off their supply routes, and maintain the blockade until they give in. Test of strength. Nah, it's just combat morale buff. Reduce crew, see? Need a morale? Darren. All generals gain bloodthirsty officers. At the start of battle, all enemy units suffer minus 15 penalty to combat morale. And Sila. Charismatic feat. All allies start with a plus 15 morale. Sure. Sila, we will reach out to the soldiers and appeal to their conscience. I'm sure that none of our officers will refuse to address the army. May the goddess help us bring those poor souls to their senses. I'll keep you up to date on how things unfold. As soon as there are any developments, I will reconvene this count the council. It's bloody mutiny. Alright, let's get out of here. Huh? The Fort Sinister Mansion is besieged by the enemy. Uh-oh. Who's attacking it? Okay. Uh-oh. 185 movement. Still on cooldown.
That's a shame. All right. Two cannabis. How oh, nice. Alright, so let's recruit the Hell Knights first. Right, just now, just us. Have them try to. Tell them to go as well. Alright. That aside, go back to the party. Have them rest to get rid of the fatigue. Let's see. Alright, Ember. I'll try to explain it one more time. Imagine the gods are your best friends. One of them even helped you out in a difficult situation. Saved you like that knight who pulled you out of the pyre. Now imagine that somebody is always going around insulting your friends. <laughs> but gods aren't your friends, and they never will be. They don't save anyone. All they do is lie. <laughs> Jeez. Evade. We're gonna get this dragon thing done. They gain his movement. Yep, okay. Alright. Move. You're stuck. Right, join in. Let's see, that's 
It's an awful lot of base. Right. Join them. Get a move on. Join him. What's your strength? It's still nine. All right, move that aside. Okay. Stop. Fresh bread, you say? Poor hungry child. I hope you won't try to eat me while I sleep. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go stop the attack on this one place now. Kill the succubi. Kill off the bandits. Charge in. Take out the raiders. And then take a shot at the cultists. And shoot the rest of these fighters down. All right. <coughs> With that out the way, put the rest of these fighters. Moving on. into cannabis. Right, some detours aside. We got through it all. And now, at long last, ready to become a dragon. Northern gates. It's no longer Market Square, it's just Cannabis. Well, that's good.
All right. All right. How the celiac gives you a friendly nod. Do you wish to ask something? All right. Reveal the tiny dragon. There's no need to worry. I saved the egg, but something else happened. Look. He hatched. He finally hatched. He's so cute. I knew that a good dragon would hatch from the sacred egg. Appearances can be deceiving. Look at the child more closely. He keeps changing his colors as if he is not sure whether he will bring good or evil into the world. No one knows what the future holds, but at least this divine child will have a most worthy guardian. A unique guardian for a unique child. The two of you have something in common. No, no one could predict that you'd become what you when you received your power, Lewis. But you chose to be a gold dragon. Perhaps the child will follow your example. Darren pretends to stifle a yawn. I'm glad that we were able to help you. And I'm so happy that we protected Jahar Sagax. I feel that we have done something good. This is all so new to me. It's such a strange feeling. I am doing what my heart tells me is right. A good end to a good adventure. I have no doubt that Lewis will do a great job raising the little dragon. Together, I'm sure they'll make the world a better place. We can speculate about the future later, but for now, let us return to the matter at hand. Lewis. It was no accident that the child chose to hatch when it sensed your presence. You have shown us time and time again that you possess the spirit of a pure, wise creature. You are one of us, and yet you are something greater. We are honored to know you. I, Nidalin, a silver dragon, swear loyalty to you, gold dragon Lewis. I will fight by your side and protect you. I, Halaseliax, a gold dragon, swear loyalty to you, gold dragon Lewis. I will fight by your side and give you counsel. I will call upon every dragon I know. The time has come for us to take part in this crusade, and you shall lead us forth. I have faith in you, my child. I hope to see you in Dresden. I have a personal request that I would rather not discuss here. All right. And everyone got the mythic path up. Ranging shots. Skip the pleasantries. Let's see, mythic ability. What's the game? What is it using for? Select one. Hmm? Hmm, right. what? Character has undefined features.
Oh, I get it. There's nothing for me to choose. Or there's nothing for the game to choose anymore. Hmm. Unlike anyone else, I guess I can get him last time. Huh. Always a chance. Okay. Mundwag, level up. What do you get? Expose vulnerability. Every third hit deals an additional d6 per two mifflings. Cause why not? Sila, path, unstoppable. At any time, you would become paralyzed. You're staggered instead. If you would be nauseated, you're sickened instead. And if you'd be shaking, you're instead frightened. All right, time's coming. Gold dragon. I gained three dragon feats, perfect mind, gold dragon form, and a mythic ability. Gold dragon is a mighty, almost omnipotent creature that possesses powers beyond all others. Gold dragon is the embodiment of goodness, hope, and redemption. Right. Perfect mind. Gold dragon gains immunity to mind affecting effects and spell resistance equal to 15 plus your character level plus half your mythic rank. So, 20, it's like 38 right now. If your base attack bonus is less than 15 plus mythic rank. you gain a bonus up to that number. So if my, since my base attack bonus is not 25, it will go up to 25. And then it'll account for my items and whatnot. Okay. All skills become class skills for you. If you have less ranks in a skill than your mythic rank, you gain a bonus up to that number. If any of your attributes before modifiers is less than 18, you gain a bonus up to that number. All your highest bonus to your highest ability score increases to plus six. Any spells dealing damage now change their dice to d8s if it was not a d8 or greater. If it was a d8 or greater, the spell instead plus, plus one bonus to damage per die. You know, in case you wanted to be a caster, that was a dragon. And then you pick a, you select any feat, ignoring its prerequisites. Okay. I'm not sure how good or bad that is yet. And the gold dragon form. You assume the form of a gold dragon. You gain the following abilities. A plus 10 size bonus to strength. A plus 8 size bonus to con. Plus 8 natural armor. 60 feet blind sense. You also gain 1 bite. 2 claws. 2 wing attacks. And 1 tail slap attack. Alright, I can choose, I can choose a new model. Can I switch between them or is it stuck? Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. 
the dragon feats. I can get anything. The dragon style fighting style feats. Let's see here. Fury's fall. Let's see. Bull rush. Improved cleaving finish. You can use cleaving finish in a round. Uh, I don't know what. This, like I can just get anything. Dragon Roar. Let's see. While using Dragon Style, you can spend two Stunning Fists. That's probably not good. Echoes of Stone. Wow. The possibilities are near limitless I don't think I should choose this right now I'm gonna cancel this for the time being alright thanks everyone who stopped by today for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous I'll be on for more of it tomorrow Uh, but that's it for tonight. See you all tomorrow. And until then...